What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy A. That's Aaron, and we are back again with another Naruto Storm Connections video. And today we're gonna to be talking about the new DLC character that is coming to Naruto Storm Connections, and it is my girl Kurenai Sensei. I know, I know. Other people have probably confirmed the character already. I'm just not getting to it, but don't worry. We're gonna talk about everything that's gonna be coming with the new update whenever it drops, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you guys enjoy this video for real. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoy this kind of content. Please just let your boy Aaron know. Without further ado, let's get in the video, shall we? So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said in the intro, we finally got confirmation that my girl Kurenai is coming to Naruto Storm Connection. Now, if you guys did not see my previous video of me talking about the characters that are going to be in this season pass of Connections, basically it's going to be Kurenai, Boroshiki, and Kawashiki. Basically, Boruto and uh, Kawaki karma progression with Kurenai. We just did not know what order they're going to come out in. So, yeah, so it makes sense that Kurenai is the next character. Now, I think what's going to happen is it's going to be Kurenai, Kawashiki, and then it's going to be Boroshiki because you know he's going to help build the hype to finish out the end of the season. Well, yes, they got my girl Kurenai and Naruto Storm Connections. I'm going to put some of the screenshots up on screen of her model and some of her gameplay, and it looks absolutely sick. And as you guys have, as I have this on screen for you guys, I'm going to just read what the website says from the official Naruto page. It says Kurenai, a Joni from Konoha. Kurenai is known in the village for her powerful Genjutsu skills. As a Joni in charge of Team 8, Chita, Hinata, Kiba, and Shino, she raised a daughter that she had with Asuma all on her own. And that daughter's name is Mirai. So it goes into a description of her jutsus. So for the, one of the, the first jutsu, it says right here, a combination of Genjutsu and Taijutsu, uh, Evil Illusion, Lingering Phantom Blossom Jutsu. Now, honestly, it looks like one of those jutsus where basically, like, if the opponent gets hit by it, it's going to put him in a crumbling effect. Because it doesn't look like it got going on with Hidon right here. It looks like he's kind of in that crumbling effect. And it looks like she might attack with the second ability. Typically, whenever it comes to these characters, they either have a, like, a mid to long range jutsus and a close range jutsu. So this is probably the mid range jutsu. And I think it's going to follow up with a kick because it literally says a combination of genjutsu and taijutsu. So it looks pretty cool. The next jutsu we have is the flower petals. It says flower petals transform into paper bombs and explode. Ninjutsu, evil illusion, transforming falling petal jutsu. And this looks like basically if you get too close to her, she's basically going to, you know what I'm saying, like get you in the petals, which will put you in that, gen, that quote unquote genjutsu and just lead into an explosion. This is what I said about how there's always typically a close and long range jutsu. So this is what it looks like. But that thing looks like it's going to do crazy damage. Like, look at all those paper bombs around heat on. Like, that just looks, looks insane. And then finally, we have her ultimate technique. And it says, ensnare and strike enemies, secret technique, evil illusion, tree bind, death, fleeting flower. Gosh, that's not cool. And it basically looks like she is going to put someone in a tree and basically stab them with it with a very crazy effect at the end. And I think it's funny too because she's literally doing the Genjutsu on Itachi, which is funny because when she did that in the anime, everybody laughed at her for it. So I think they're just doing that on purpose. But honestly, I think that looks cool. I think it's going to be like a cool animation where basically she summons the tree, the the plot, the blossoms are going to be all beautiful and falling around, and it's going to turn into a cherry blossom tree. And of course, they always have to finish off with explosions. So I feel like once she stabs them in that tree, it's going to be insane explosion. Next, ladies and gentlemen, it says that we're going to get ourselves two new team ultimates in Naruto Storm Connections. The first one is going to be Asuma Saratobi and Kurenai Yui. And it says the Evil Illusion Binding Tree Carson, the Evil Illusion Tree Binding Windblade. And it says an amazing combination move that uses Kurenai's Evil Illusion Tree Binding Death to capture the enemy. Then has Asuma go for the kill with his Chakra Blade. And you get to see some of the team ultimate within the screenshots of them getting ready with their hands crossed. And obviously, uh, Kurenai ties them down with the wood, or basically with the tree in the Genjutsu. And then Asuma comes in with the blades to chop off old blah. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, it looks sick, and I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with this, man. Because, like, Kurenai, I feel like Kurenai has a lot of potential, and I'm, so I'm excited to see how she's going to play. Um, and it says right here for the second uh, Team Ultimate Jutsu is Hashirama, Ashura, and Naruto. It says six paths, Shinzu, Rasengan. Uh, Rasen Shuriken and it says that Ashura is the first to bear the shared fate and his reincarnation Hashirama and Naruto join together in battle. They'll unleash your strongest combination the ninja uh, combination ninja to the shinobi world has ever seen. And basically it just looks like they're going to com combine everything. It looks like it's going to be basically like a gigantic spear bomb with 
um, Hashirama's arms giving like the energy. I mean, it looks sick. Don't get me wrong. Like I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited to see that. So I feel like in the later DLC, we're gonna get ourselves a team ultimate for Naruto. Of uh, course, for Sasuke, Madara, and Indra. And I really want to see what that's gonna look like in the future. That's gonna be deadly. And basically, ladies and gentlemen, at the end, it lets you know everything that is gonna be included in this DLC pack. And it says playable character will be Kuranai, the secret techniques that I just mentioned, 12 matching voices, five ninja card info images, and that's basically it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they did confirm the release date for my girl Kuranai, and it's gonna be May 30th, 2024. Which is going to be obviously not too long from here. It's literally going to be this Thursday, I want to say. I want to say this Thursday. Let me let me do, let me double check real quickly because it's going to be yep. It's going to be this Thursday for Kuro and I to come out. So I like that a lot. That's going to be pretty cool. And then it says right here the new game mode that we're not. Oh, correction, not the game mode, but the new Ninja Battle event that we're going to have. And basically, it's going to be which character would you want as your teacher, Jiraiya versus Minato. And that's basically just kind of how it goes. And the cool part about it is, though, that if you do partake in these events and then you, you know, grind to earn tickets, you can be able to get yourself some alternate costumes and items that have been recently added to the game, which I think is cool. A prime example is um, Tsunade with the Hokage hat. And then it looks like they have a Wichimaru from Boruto. And it looks like they have Hashirama um, basically with his Sage Mode activated, but he's not, he doesn't have to reanimate the eyes. Still look pretty cool though. I like it a lot. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything that's going to be coming to Naruto Storm Connection this Thursday with DLC Pack 3. Your boy Aaron is going to be making mad content playing with Kerr and I because honestly, after 17 years, bruh, like come on now, she, she deserves recognition. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Are you guys excited for Kerr and I? Are you guys kind of mad? Please just let your boy Aaron know. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>